Hey there and welcome back to my channel. So today is a super exciting video for many, many reasons. I have new fragrances, new scented products, a way to save some money, and it is a brand that I've talked about before, so I'm just over the moon to share with you guys. So that, as you can see from the title, it is by Wicked Good Scents. And I have done a video on them before. I've mentioned them here and there on my, here or there on my channel of different things that have products and obviously perfume and fragrance from them, but they also have that monthly box thing that I've talked about. So this is the February box and I wanted to show you what's in the February box, but you know, you can sign up for future boxes or you can just get some other goodies and not sign up for the box program. So I have a coupon code for you guys. It is in the description box below. Use it to get 10% off your first purchase. And after I go through the box, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite products, including one of my nail care secrets, which I know a lot of you have asked about. So we're gonna get started. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. So the box in question looks like this. I took out one of the products already. I've used all of them and we're just gonna go through them one by one. And it comes with this sheet every time. And yeah, it just gives you more information on everything that is in your box. And if you'd like, you can always go on the website and leave a review and then you're entered to win a gift card for I think $25. So we're gonna start with the soap bar, which I've never gotten any of their soaps before. This is the first one. I had to take it out of my washroom, so I've left it on this because it's still a little bit wet. And this is the sea salt scrub soap bar with yuzu, mandarin, pomegranate, and sea salt. It smells great. It definitely smells like um, those like natural soap smells. It's very citrusy and, and fruity. I would say a lot stronger on kind of the yuzu pomegranate side um, and I get some mandarin as well but oh my god I love it and the best part about it is that the smell lingers on your hands which is not always the case with especially natural soaps I feel like unless they're you know they're like minty or eucalyptus or something they don't always linger on your hands so an extra bonus I'd never tried one of the Wicked Good Scents like soaps before, so I was just really happy to get that as well. It's always nice to try something that you wouldn't regularly have picked up by yourself. So the next one, which was really interesting, is a face mask refresher spray. And this is scented with quince, quince peach nectar, jasmine, French lavender, eucalyptus, sandalwood, and vanilla coconut. And this is what it looks like over here. And I actually used to use, I think it's almost done. I used to use a face mask refresher by um, a French skincare brand and I love them. It, you're supposed to technically use them with masks that are like sheet masks, which a lot of my skincare is by Innisfree because it's a Korean skincare brand that I really find works for me. And they're just sheet masks like this. This is the tea tree one, but I've had a whole bunch of theirs. And as it's starting to dry, you can kind of refresh your face mask and you can spray it before you're on your skin or you can spray it a little bit after, like I said. But what I actually end up using it with a lot more, these face mask refreshers are clay masks. And again, I pulled out one that I've loved for a while now and that's by Free, the pore cleaning color mask, um, which is brightening. It's just a regular wash off wash off clay mask, but before I put on the clay mask, I like using a face mask refresher and I've really only ever used, um, I think it's La Roche Posay actually, the one that I use, um, and it's got some zinc in there. But this one is obviously smells a lot better. I'm just, I have makeup on, so I'm not gonna spray it right now. It, I feel like I get the eucalyptus the most um, it's very strong. Eucalyptus and coconut is kind of what I get, which is an interesting mix. It's, it's kind of moisturizing. You'll see as you spray on your skin, usually face mask refreshers are. Um, they feel more moisturizing than just water. And yeah, I really do. I really have been liking it. And the scent on this is also very, very strong. And I love eucalyptus scented things when it's like skincare or 
body care or something like a bath product, I love eucalyptus. I find it's really refreshing and relaxing and very zen. So was very interested in getting that. And then we have the two fragrances. So there's a perfume spray and an oil roller. The perfume spray um, is called Spiritual Gangster and it's got orange flower, Sh Champaca Absolute, Davana Patchouli, Sugared Musk, Santal, and Vanilla Amber. And I'm gonna spray this here to remind myself. These have a very wide set spray. I feel like I obviously was just spraying on my arm here to test, but in general, I feel like you'll see with some fragrances, they're very, they have like a very wide set spray. Some are very direct and I hate those. And this one, I feel like as you spray on your body, it really covers a lot of space. And I love this scent. This is a really, complex scent. I feel like it has so many layers to it and sometimes I'll get more of like a, I don't know, like a floral patchouli and then other times I'll get, it kind of smells like nutty and gourmand and I don't think, I mean there's no, I'm not really sure what Davana is, but there aren't any like nut notes in this from what I can see, but it really does toe the line between more of a um, white, like quite a strong white floral and a very gourmand, like rich vanilla nuttiness. I really like it. It's very, very strong. I'm gonna get to some other fragrances. That is what surprised me the most with Wicked Good. Um, I really, the first time I ever tried them, especially the spray products, I was just, I really thought, that it was gonna be more so of like a traditional natural perfume or scent house and brand that didn't tend to last as long, which I don't really fault them for because natural type fragrances or indie houses aren't necessarily creating fragrances to last all day. But I'm gonna to get to some other fragrances that I actually, being an oversprayer, have to only spray one spray of how strong they are. This isn't as crazy. I can get away with a couple sprays, but it really does, it smells very strong. I feel like it has a lot of sillage. It, it surprised me and it's a very interesting scent in that if I were to do that blind fragrance test thing, I feel like I'd be able to pick this one out. Yeah, it really, If I feel like I'm smelling two fragrances at once. So it's really interesting. And again, maybe not something based on the notes that I would have picked out myself. So. That's what's really fun about the boxes is it's kind of like a gift to yourself where you don't really know what's coming. But you can also choose if you know the kind of things that you want, you can pick and choose and I've done that before too. And the last product in the box is called Rise and Shine Perfume Oil and this has mandarin, tangerine, basil, grande vert, um, clove, jasmine, patchouli, myrrh, amber, Egyptian musk, and sandalwood. And this one comes in a perfume oil, which you guys know I'm more of a fan of the spray scents personally. I'll always prefer spray scent because I like to get it on my clothing and my hair. But the one thing that I will say with these roller balls is they have the type of roller ball that if I'm gonna get one, I like because it gets so much on there. I don't, I hate the ones that I feel like they're dry and I'm just dragging it. If anything, this rolls very quickly. So this one, this Rise and Shine, reminds me very much of the Satsuma, I think that's what it is, the Satsuma scent from the Body Shop. The orange one, that's a very nostalgic scent for me because when I was growing up, I got this huge gift set of like everything in that fragrance. I'm pretty sure it's Satsuma, the orange one from the Body Shop. You'll know it if you like, I had the lip balm, I had the body wash, I had the body lotion, I had the body butter, like every single thing. And they still sell it, so you can definitely pick it up. But if you're interested in that scent and if you like it, this smells very similar to that. It's got very strong, like sweet citrus vibes. I don't really get any patchouli in this, which is great for me. Um, and again, lasts a very long time. It is an oil, so you do have to be careful you don't get it on like specific clothing because it is very oily and as I say it really does roll 
quite a lot. I probably rolled too much for just my arm there, but yeah, it really does last a long time. It's slightly, if I were to compare it to the Body Shop, it's just ever so slightly green. Um, but in general, it smells a lot like that orange Satsuma scent from the Body Shop. And I still, I still think I buy their lip balms in that scent. It's just super, super nostalgic for me. So that was the Wicked Good box from this month. All right, so now we're gonna talk about some of the previous products that I've had from them and I've loved. I'm gonna start with the fragrance that I mentioned is Beast Mode. I genuinely can only spray one spray at a time. I could not believe how strong it is. It is the strongest from Wicked Good that I've tried myself. And that is the Avo Bath scent. It comes in a perfume mist, so it's obviously a lot larger. And it's a spray and scent, so it's it's quite moisturizing. Like when you spray it, I'll spray it over here. Um, it doesn't come out just, I don't know, like I feel like it gets a little bit of, it's just a little bit more moisturizing than just straight up fragrance, in my opinion. But, oh my God, like that was way too much, even just this one spray. I was really not expecting this to be that strong. Wicked Good surprises me time and time again. Not all their fragrances are as beast mode as this by any means, but this one, it will like fill up a room if you spray a couple sprays. And this smells identical to the Avo Bath Lush Bath Bomb. That's what I really like about their website as well. I find myself just kind of daydreaming looking at all the different scents because they have collections where they make replicates of other things. Like they'll have a bunch of like a fresh collection and a lush collection, or they'll have kind of more um, dreamscape ones. Like they'll have ones for Disney or Harry Potter or different characters. I think I saw like even Schitt's Creek, which I love that show, um, which is a great Canadian show, but they had ones that were like based off characters. So I really do lo love that about it. And Avo Bath was one of my like OG favorite bath bombs from Lush. It was super moisturizing. It was like green and citrusy and very, um, it also kind of filled up your bathroom once you smelled it. It was just very, very like spa-like. And this is no exception. This is by far the strongest scent. So I really do have to be careful with this and I cannot overspray, which is a mistake I learned the hard way the first time I wore that one. Then a product from them that I use often, every single time I shower pretty much, is the shower steam spray that I got in the last box that I got from them. This is rosemary, peppermint, and fresh herbs. This you just spray in like the mist of your shower when you're showering and again, because it's got eucalyptus and, or because it's got peppermint and it's very, um, minty in the way that kind of mint and eucalyptus is. It, I feel like it helps if you have like congestion, especially in the morning or right before night, and I usually do. I love this. I find it's way more of a strong scent than the, sh the like shower bath tabs that I've used where you're supposed to let them dissolve. Those never work for me. And this, because it's already in spray form and it's not in a solid, I'll just spray two to three sprays depending on how strong I want it to be. And yeah, it's just a kind of like a nice extra step. I can't believe I'm not through this already because I use this every single time I shower. Um, and then we will get to the product that I'm gonna talk more about in an upcoming nail care video. You guys have very asked about it so many times and you've been very curious. I've posted about this on my Instagram, so don't forget to follow me on there. But this is the Aromatherapy Balm. Um, called Peace of Mind. I got it in the last box and it has done, I mean, I don't think this is what it was supposed to be used for, but it has done wonders for my nails and cuticles. So make sure you watch out for a video on my full nail care, nail care stuff. And then two scents that I thought I'd mention um, that I've wear, worn before. Um, this is from, as I said, the Harry Potter collection. I had gotten the Amortentia um, love potion, like the strongest love potion one. It's a very like fruity floral scent. And yeah, I just find it's, because it's got like a mother of pearl color, uh, it just really does stand out and it's very strong as well. Not on the level of Avobath, but very strong. 
and my favorite and this is actually the lightest of all of them um, it's still it doesn't just disappear or anything but this is definitely the lightest out of all of them and it's an oil which of course I would always prefer prefer having a spray this is banana cabana this is my first banana scented fragrance um, I really like it it's very tropical again very banana candy like not so much like an authentic banana scent a banana candy so I really like it again out of the roller balls it is one of the better ones in terms of like the quality of how quickly it gets on the skin but it is the lightest out of all the scents as well so i hope you guys enjoyed as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to make use of that coupon code for you guys i was happy to get it so that this time around you could save some money and yeah i'll see you next time bye